Hi, this is my response to our Intro to Social Justice video presentation final. Um, I am responding to Kendall Frazier and she chose to talk about environmental justices and injustices. First and foremost, I want to say thank you, Kendall, for all the information that you shared and thank you for your presentation. It was a beautiful presentation. One thing I noticed first off was that the screen kept moving and that the pictures were always changing. It wasn't the same pictures it, and the pictures weren't up there for very long. So it wasn't boring to watch or listen to because typically in lectures you hear people just talk, 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 talk and you kind of read what's on their slide. But for you there were various pictures and along with those pictures, on some of those pictures there were facts that you could stop and read if you wanted to pause the video. And so I really appreciated that. Um, one thing that really stood out to me was the Flint, Michigan crisis because I believe that this is a huge injustice to Flint, Michigan because here it is six years later almost and they still have no clean water. Um, I couldn't even fathom or begin to imagine a life without clean water or water bottles or anything of that nature because wa water is an essential part of our lives. Um, but if I could, since this is one of our questions, if I could fix it for them, they would still be getting donations. Um, because I'm pretty, I mean, I'm sure that they're still getting donations. However, I'm pretty sure that the amount of donations received by Flint, Michigan from all over has decreased by a lot because of the publicity that they don't have anymore. Once they were a big issue and now it's just kind of like, old news but it's still an injustice and people are still being sick or getting sick from this water and not having the access to properly clean themselves and things of that nature. Another thing that stood out to me was when you said that the health of the human world is linked to that of the natural world. And that stood out to me because I've noticed as I've reading I've been reading articles um, that come across my phone, but we're actually, because we're all in quarantine or supposed to be in quarantine, I'm not sure that everyone is following the rules, but I've noticed that the earth is actually like, in a way, healing itself. And there's things that are reverting back or slowing down the progression of detriments to the earth. And that is really positive because also, while the earth is healing itself, we're at home healing ourselves. People are choosing healthier lifestyles and different foods to eat. Uh, people are exploring new hobbies and getting active and maybe even going for walks now because we can't necessarily be outside all day long. But people are now going for walks and finding different things to do. So, in a sense that while the earth is healing itself, us humans are also bettering ourselves and... That is my response to your video. Thank you again and hope you have a great rest of the semester and a great summer.